Well, after uh, coming into the Seventh-day Adventist Church, I uh, was so excited about the message and the biblical truths that I had learned. Uh, I was very eager to tell all of my friends and family and my community here in Northeast Georgia. I didn't quite know how, how to go about it. I was doing different projects. I was setting up seminars in, in the area. And every opportunity I had, I was going out doing mission work uh, uh, with different folks. And at that point, we was doing uh, handing out literature at, in, a, in an area, doing some mission work. When the idea was brought to my attention that uh, I would make a good literature evangelist. And I had no idea what that was. And I even questioned her and said, well, what is that? Well, after explaining it to me, I thought it was foolish because <laughs> I'd made the comment to her that uh, no one's reading books anymore. But little did I know that God would use that as a seed to plant in my heart uh, for this work. God has truly burdened my heart for this area, my community here in Northeast Georgia. Um, I, I, it kept coming to mind about the literature evangelism work. And so I reached out to the leadership in the Georgia Cumberland Conference. And after some uh, interviews and application process, we got started a year ago. It was April of 2015 when I began uh, a career literature evangelism work. And God has truly blessed uh, ever since. I've been often asked, do I think that I could really be successful uh, in the literature work? After some time working in the death care industry, um, selling uh, tombstones to people all over the country, uh, I felt the Lord really calling me to uh, the soul care industry and uh, reaching uh, souls. I was the CEO of a multi-million dollar company uh, locally here and uh, I gave it up. I gave up the security of that, that uh, salary paycheck and to go into full-time ministry and to live uh, on a faith basis pretty much, trusting in God. Praise the Lord, I'm here to say that absolutely uh, you can make it as a full-time career literature evangelist. The Lord is blessed. I have a beautiful family with two children that is in uh, church school. This work uh, teaches you on a daily basis to trust in God completely, but it's, it's, it's so easy to do. And just simply take God at His word, and I believe that. We're told that, that we have holy angels working alongside of us when we go out into this work. And what better company to have than the holy angels of God and the Spirit of God to operate with you in this work. So if the question is lingering, you know, can you make it as a career literature evangelist? I'm a testimony and I'm an advocate for absolutely, uh, yes, you can make it in this work full time as a career literature evangelist. I see great benefits in this work to where not only do I just hand someone a track uh, and just, you know, have a five minute conversation, but I get to go into their homes in this work. I get to uh, discover their needs and get to pray with them. And whether they buy some of our books or not, I do not leave a home without leaving truth-filled literature in their homes. The literature that we leave in their home will be patient for them when, they're, when they need it. It will not holler at them or change its mind. The message is sound and is strong and it'll be there for when they're ready. I've even used this work to further another uh, opportunity that God has um, made available here, and that is a church plant in Northeast Georgia. I have to drive 45 miles uh, to the nearest church and it's in a different conference. And the Lord is blessed with, with, uh, with the opportunity to uh, hold Bible studies with different groups of people. Uh, actively right now, looking at about about 20 people that I'm studying with on a regular basis. Out of that 20, um, there's about 10 to 12 who have made baptism commitments, who are looking to be the core foundation of this church plant. And I am looking forward to uh, this work, the literature evangelism work, uh, truly being a source of reaching more people and pulling them into this new fellowship here in Northeast Georgia.